Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back. Welcome to our subscribers, both long-term and new subscribers. Lovely to have you with us. And so today I'm going to be making what, for this year anyway, will be our last Christmas project. Obviously not the last one forever, but the last one for this year. So we're going to make a very simple layered Christmas card. So I've already made a little bit of a start. This is a 5x7 card. There are a few measurements, but they will all be in the description box down below at the end of this video. This is a white card, which I've just cut down to 5x7. And we're going to start with an embossed 5x7 mat. Now you don't have to emboss the mats if you don't want to, but I've decided to give it just a little bit of an embossing, just, just to give it a lift. So that's our first one. And our second mat I'm going to be putting on with, I'll show you what it is first of all. This is just a six by four. It was plain white watercolor card. Actually it was watercolor paper. And I've used my watercolour pencils to make a watercolour technique. Yeah, okay, you can see some of the lines, but that's okay. I like a bit of texture. And I've put some foam tape on the back. And just so that this doesn't stick instantly. Oops, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. But that's all right. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put that to one side and we'll use it as it is. That's no problem. This is just a bit of what's left of my glue stick. Or one of my glue sticks. And if we put a bit of glue stick on, it stops it grabbing instantly. It doesn't take away to from or add to the stickiness of the tape. It just gives it a little bit more time and it means it won't grab straight away. It'll give us a little bit more time. Probably not a lot and I do apologise for the light. From here it looks like I'm videoing in the middle of the night. I promise you I'm not but it's an awful light outside today. It's really dark and even with my bright studio light on looking at my screen it does look very dark so I hope you can see okay. But that's all right, we're going to carry on anyway. So I've got one more embossed mat and that measures three and a half by one and a half inches. And again, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue stick on the back of there just to give us a little bit more time. So I'm just going to pick that up and it doesn't matter which way it goes, it's not directional. And I'm going to stick that roughly in the middle. And I have one more mat for you, which is the sentiments mat. And that measures one by two and a half. And I'm not going to worry about it. This has got foam pads on it rather than foam tape. I'm not going to worry about putting glue on it this time. I'm just going to pop that right in the middle like that. So we're not going to do any fuss today. There's not going to be any fancy stuff. The only thing I have got, if I can find it, oh, there it is. I've got one little embellishment, which is this gorgeous little robin. He started out life as a gift tag, but I just cut the top part off, which had a sentiment on it. And I've popped some, a couple of foam pads on the back and I'm going to put him right down there in that corner like that. Now that's about as close as I'm ever going to get, I think, to a clean and simple card. I don't do clean and simple. I love, I love other people doing them, but, and I love watching other people, but I don't do it too successfully. Now, the only other thing I was wrestling with, I have found in my stash this beautiful little velvet bow. And I was thinking, do I put it on the card or would it be too much? I thought about putting it there, but then to me, I'd need to put something there and I don't want to because it would look overcrowded. And I think the only other option is putting it there. So do I put the bow on or do I leave it off? On, off. Um, well, as it's the final one, shall we put the bow on? I've got a strip of foam tape on the back here, or foam pad, I beg your pardon. You could use foam tape, or you could even use hot glue if you wanted to. So as it's the final one, a bit of extravagance, why not? There we go. We're going to pop our bow down there like that. And there we go, guys. There is our final Christmas project for this year. A simple layered Christmas card. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Now, of course, you don't have to do it red. You don't even have to do a Christmas card if you don't want to. You can use this technique for any style of card, whether it's a birthday card, anniversary card, for a male, for a female, for any gender you like, and for any occasion you like. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it helpful. And I'll probably be back just once more before Christmas. So we'll see what I come up with for that. And I'll see you very soon. And in the meantime, stay safe, everybody. Take care, have fun, and as always, happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.